Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Excel Basics in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Today, I'm going to be talking about conditional formatting using Excel. And this is a pretty cool feature if you have a lot of data and you want to easily kind of call out the data points which are important to you. So let's say that let's say that I have this particular uh, set of data and I want to highlight the amounts that are above a certain level. Let's say that level is uh, above $5,100, $5,100. Now, if I wanted to, I could go through and I could kind of start to, you know, highlight, use the, the buttons to manually bold them or select them and then, um, you know, choose a color, make the back, back, background color uh, orange or something like that. But there's an easier way to do it using based on the values. And this is very useful if you have a huge set of data and you want to really highlight the most important pieces of data, like maybe the most valuable things. So actually, let's change it to the data that's above $5,200. Now, I know you're looking at this and you can say, oh, I can see exactly where those data points are. But let's use this tool in Excel. It's on the Home ribbon or the Home tab. Go to Conditional Formatting, this drop-down menu. You'll see these options here. Um, what you want is highlight cell rules. And there's a whole bunch of different things you can do. You could, even, you could um, base it on something like the text that the cell contains, or less than or greater than. We're going to do greater than. And actually, I need to do one other thing, too. I need to select all the data in the chart. So I can, you can either do like a Control A or Command A. By the way, this is the Mac version of Excel. Windows is exactly the same, works the same way. So anyway, just select all the data. I'm just gonna, Actually, let's do this. I'm just going to highlight everything. In the rows. Okay. Go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules greater than. So remember, I want to do greater than uh, $5,200. So it gives you all these different options right here, and in, including you can change the color of the formatting. I'm going to do if the cell value is greater than $5,200, it'll highlight it green. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, it did that. It highlighted these two cells, $5,250. And you may be thinking, well, hold on. Uh, how come it didn't highlight uh, these two cells? Because I said greater than $5,200. And the answer is, is because I said $5,200 exactly. It has to be greater than that. So if this was $5,199, uh, sorry, if this was $5,200.01, it would be highlighted too. And in fact, let's see if uh, that works. So I'm going to highlight all this stuff again change it like that. Highlight all these things again. Conditional formatting. Highlight cell rules. If the value is greater than, actually I have to make it a little bit um, less than $5,200. So I'm going to make it $5,199.99. Can you see that? I can't see it. Let's do it again. Let's just make it $5,199. Okay. Hit OK. And there we go. You can see it highlighted those. It's using red this time because I, I selected the red. But you can get the idea. If you had a huge set of data and you wanted to highlight like the lowest or the uh, highest values or values like you only wanted to highlight um, months that begin with the letter M, you could do that using that particular tool, conditional formatting. For more information on how to get the most out of Excel, check out my book, Excel Basics in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.